so watch me transform this brown skin beauty from start to finish hi guys you're welcome back to my youtube channel this is intibe makeover if you're new here you're highly welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much and god bless you so please do not forget to like comment share and subscribe so first thing first i'm going to be cleaning her face with my wipe this would help to remove dirt and oil on the face then i went ahead to hydrate her skin with my keys beauty spray after hydrating it i let it dry into the skin after drying the next thing i did was to apply moisturizer i'm going to be using my set of few moisturizer to moisturize her face so after applying the moisturizer all over the face i let it dry a little into the skin before i went ahead to apply this hydrating primer so i'm just gonna apply it all over the face so while doing your skin prep make sure every product dries into the skin before you move on to the next process so after applying the hydrating primer i dried it up next i'm going to be using my gentle tooth mattifying primer i'm just gonna apply it on the oily areas on her face So after that the next thing i did was to dry it i made sure it dried properly into the skin so next i'm going to be applying foundation i'm going to be mixing these two shades of foundation this is zikel foundation in the shade 020 and 025 so i'm just gonna apply it all over the face before blending it so after applying it i had to spray the face again for easy blending then i went ahead using my damp beauty sponge to blend the foundation into the skin so it's always important to blend the foundation properly into the skin because how you blend your foundation will determine how flawless your makeup is going to look so make sure you take your time to blend and make sure you also blend properly into the skin So after blending it i'm going to be locking it up with the same spray this would help the foundation not to move or go anywhere then after that i had to dry it up i made sure it dried properly before i went ahead to contour i'm going to be using this Nibam beauty concealer in the shade 048 to contour her face After contouring, moving on to cream blush, I'm going to be missing these two shades from my blues on lip palette and apply it above her contour and a little bit on the tip of her nose. Then I went ahead to blend using my beauty sponge. So after blending the next thing i did was to highlight the face i'm going to be using this avo concealer in the shade a20 to highlight the face so whenever you want to highlight your face make sure you use small concealer a little goes a long way if at the end of the day you feel like the concealer your know, the face is not well highlighted you can add more concealer but make sure you add a little concealer this would help you blending properly and you end up having a smooth like face so next i'm going to be blending the concealer on the highlighted area
so after blending the next thing i did was to contour the nose i'm going to be using the same concealer i used to contour the face to contour her nose and after applying the concealer i blended it in order to avoid harsh lines So at this point, I went ahead to apply more concealer on the inner corner of her face because I want the inner corner to be a little highlighted more than the outer corner. So I used Milani concealer in the shade 142. So I'm just applying it a little and blending it out. Next, I'm going to be setting the concealer with my Mirac setting powder and the shade cinnamon. But before setting, I went back using my beauty sponge to blend the areas underneath her eyes to avoid creasing. So after blending, the next thing is to set. I'm going to be using my Mirac setting powder in the shade cinnamon to set. So like I always say, set gently. Do not pack too much setting powder and set one step at a time. So after setting the face, the next thing is to set the rest of the face. I'm going to be using my Adventure Oil Control Powder Palette. So I couldn't show you guys this exact shade I used, but I used her exact skin shade to set the rest of her face. So for dry contouring, I'm going to be using this darker shade from the same powder palette to set the areas I applied the cream contour. So next, I'm going to be using the same shade to set the nose. So I went back using my powder brush to blend everything together. So after blending it, I'm going to be setting the face. This would help to reduce the brightness on the face. After setting, I'm going to let it dry properly into the skin before I bake. For baking, I'm going to be using the same powder I used to set her face to bake her face. So moving on to the brows, I'm going to be using my spoolie brush to brush her brows first. Then I went ahead using my brow tan to lay the brows nicely. You can also use your hair wax. So next is to outline the brows. I'm going to be using my carrot gel liner and my angled brush to draw the brows following the shape of her brows. Choose to stay through all the pain. 
so after that i use the same concealer i used to highlight her face to highlight her brows After which I blended the concealer using blending brush. So next I highlighted the top of her brows using the same foundation I used on her face to highlight the top of her brows. So to set the concealer, I'm going to be using this light shade from the same powder palette to set the concealer. So moving on to the eyes, before you apply an eyeshadow, you need an eyeshadow primer for your base. So I'm using my Tara eyeshadow primer for her base. So after applying it on her lid, I blended it immediately. So for eyeshadow, I'm going to be using my Blazon eyeshadow palette. I'm just going to take this shade here and apply it on the outer corner of her lid. Then blending it towards the inner corner of her lid. So after that, I'm going to be taking this darker shade and apply it on the outer corner of her lid. After which I used my blending brush to blend it out to avoid any demarcation. So I went back with that brush I used to apply the eyeshadow base. I went back using the brush to blend the inner corner of her lid. So the reason why I went back to blend because it will avoid the eyeshadow not to break when you place it on the lid. So after that I'm going to be using this orange shade from the same Blossom Lip Palette. And apply it on the inner corner so whenever you want to apply a powdery eyeshadow you need to like place 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 don't blend use your brush a very soft eyeshadow brush to place it on the lid like it helps the eyeshadow to come out very well So after that, I'm going to be blending with my eyeshadow blending brush. So after blending, I added this dark shade, this black shade on the outer corner of her lid. Then I blended everything together. So next, I'm going to be applying some setting powder on the outer corner of her lid to define the lid. So next, I'm going to be lining her upper and lower lash line with my carrot gel liner, the black shade.
So I feel that I'm going to be prepping her natural lashes with my Zaron gel liner to give it volume. So moving on to powdery blush, I'm going to be using my Tara blush palette. I'm just going to take this pink shade and apply it on her cheeks. Then next, I'm going to be adding this um, orange eyeshadow. I'm just going to apply it on her cheeks. So next I'm going to be wearing her these lashes from Kaima Lashes. Then I went ahead to press her natural lashes together with the false lashes. So after that I used my powder brush to blend everything together. Always blend 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 is very very important to blend so after this i'm going to be setting the face again with my keys beauty spray after setting i'm going to let it dry into the skin So moving on to the lip, I'm going to be using my Blossom Lip Palette. I'm just going to take this dark shade here to outline her lip. And I'm going to add this brown color here. So next, I'm going to be using my brush to blend. So after that, I'm going to be applying this nude color in the middle just to brighten up the lip. So after that, I'm going to be closing her lip. So next, I'm going to be prepping her lower lashes. So after that, I'm going to be applying this Younger Beauty Highlighter on the places I want the highlight to pop. Such a disgrace. I 
never really asked to be brought into this place Could you wanna love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really wanna hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i'm there so I went back using that brow tam to lay the brows nicely again. So after that, I'm going to be using this uh, Miss Metty cheek glaze. I'm just going to apply it on the areas I want the face to glow. Like this helps the face to glow. If you're in this makeup game you need to get it it's very very important it helps the makeup to glow so next i'm going to be setting the face for the last time with my keys beauty fix spray after that i let it dry into the skin so i used my fan to dry it up properly like you have to let it dry before you start doing any other thing so guys this is the final look guys i hope you all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up like comment subscribe if you haven't subscribed thank you so much guys for watching thank you for the love in my last post thank you for always subscribing thank you for always coming back I love you all so much please continue to watch my videos continue to share my videos thank you so much guys for watching i will see you all in my next video bye guys I guess you're trying to